This is Credit Matters, and I'm Greg Moskowitz, the Global Fixed Income Research Group. The 2018 global corporate default tally increased to 53 this week following the default of UK-based retailer House of Fraser Limited. The retail and restaurant sector now accounts for 13% of the total defaults so far in 2018, with seven. Distressed exchanges continue to be the leading cause of defaults in 2018 with 23, followed by missed principal and interest payments, including defaults on debt obligations with 13 defaults and bankruptcy with 10 defaults. The remaining seven defaults were confidential. During the same period last year, there were 25 defaults due to distressed exchanges, 11 due to missed principal or interest payments, 19 bankruptcy-related defaults, and seven confidential defaults. By region, the U.S. continues to hold the highest share of corporate defaults this year with 31, followed by emerging markets with 11, Europe with 8, and other developed, which includes Australia, Canada, Japan, and New Zealand with 3. July was the first month so far in 2018 with no U.S.-based defaults. Of the 11 emerging market defaulters in 2018, five are from the Latin America region, which continues to face political uncertainty in 2018, stemming from key elections in some of the region's biggest economies. Of the 95 defaulters in 2017, 65 were from the U.S. region, whereas the emerging markets region had only eight, just three of which were based in Latin America. The tally of 95 defaults in 2017 was 41% lower than the total of 163 in 2016 and marked the lowest since 57 in 2014. The oil and gas sector led defaults in 2017 with 25, or 26%, much lower than the total of 66 oil and gas defaults of 41% in 2016. This has been Credit Matters. Thank you for watching.